if someone who is trying to control the situation with you is giving you the silent treatment, this is someone who walked away, gave up, or gave into some lies. Hmm. This is someone who is in hermit mode, reclusive, and they're lacking self-improvement. This is someone who is teasing you by procrastinating, not giving you what you deserve or what you're expecting, and trying to keep something private by being misleading. This is someone who is being misleading on purpose. This energy is being misleading even though they know you may already know the truth. This is why this energy is giving you the silent treatment thinking they can control a situation by avoiding you or walking away. This is a passive aggressive energy. A passive aggressive energy who is also carrying guilt for the past as well as resentments. Resentments for ignoring some very tough issues with you. Someone is just not talking not wanting to give in. Even so, I feel this energy <clears throat> is not wanting to give in and I feel it's keeping them guarded. It's keeping them guarded and keeping something more complicated than it needs to be. I feel like this is someone who has made something very complicated by walking away or keeping something hidden or a mystery. But as I said before, you're dealing with someone who is guarded and there is a lack of self-improvement here. This is someone who is in need of transformation. Not seeing their own wrongs. This energy is not seeing their own wrongs because they're e easily triggered or easily teased. Easily led astray. Pretending to be something they are not. This is someone who is pretending to have some type of memory loss. <clears throat> this energy is pretending to have some type of memory loss within a situation where they are only giving you excuses or lies. I feel these excuses is only keeping something dysfunctional, out of order, <sighs> pretending to have change or pretending to not know the truth. This is someone who is pretending to have forgotten the details of what happened. Wanting to break up the past or break up the memories of the past. This energy has tunnel vision. I feel this energy has tunnel vision when it comes to their denial, the disrespect, and even when it's involving you. For many of you, this is someone who caused a divide or ghosted you, avoided you leaving you abruptly without real conversation or why. Yet I feel this energy only wore a mask and telling you a lot of lies. For many of you, this energy made up stories, lies to cover their tracks, especially when it comes to third party energies, outside interferences. This energy had no boundaries. I feel like this energy had no boundaries in a situation and this is why they gave you so many excuses to defend themselves. And another reason why they're always guarded. This energy is always guarded and walking away from things misleading you to keep you as well as keep you at bay. Giving you a false impression not being upfront with you. I feel this is someone trying to hold on to the idea that they did nothing wrong. This energy is trying to hold on to that idea knowing that they did you very cold. Yet this energy <clears throat> is pretending like you're overreacting in a situation where they know they were heartless or brutal. But I feel this energy knows that you're speaking a truth. They're just too uncomfortable to deal with it. 
This is someone who is too uncomfortable to deal with the full reality of what they have done or even what they're going through. As I said before, there is a state of disorder. Something is highly unstable when dealing with this energy who is always taking the easy way out because they're unable to face their issues head on. This energy is coming out as a coward or someone who is failing to be the bigger person in a situation, yet they're always abruptly disappearing for no reason, vanishing without an explanation. But I feel it's only due to the, the risks that they choose to take, afraid of consequences. There's a lot of fear here when it comes to someone who has a lot of spiteful ways. This is someone who is always being strategic, possibly even cruel or unkind with their words because they are unsure of the way forward. This energy is coming out as lost because of the inner conflict that they refuse to deal with. This energy may also have addictions. That's not for everyone. Please take it how it resonates, but there is some unhealthy negative energy attached to them codependency ways, especially when it comes to their ego or some very unstable ways that they try to cope with reality. For many of you, this is someone who is sitting in a space of denial, not wanting to see something because they know it may trigger something. Hmm. So they have no expectations. Having no expectations, this energy is always being clueless to others' emotions because they feel they have options, which causes them to be lazy when communicating with you or being honest. For many of you, this energy is very casual when it comes to communication or when it comes to sex or when it comes to things that they're trying to cope with life. They're even trying to joke about it, not taking something seriously possibly coming in with love, yet still emotionally voided. For many of you, you're very suspicious of this energy because something has become unaligned or non-compatible because something has hit a downward spiral. A downward spiral in a situation where someone is always trying to manipulate. Hmm. This is someone who feels they have, a, they have a lot of tactics, a lot of options. This is why they're always misleading and deceiving. Especially when it comes to connections or close, valuable energies, because they're not ready. Not ready to be loyal. I feel whatever this energy is going through has nothing to do with you. The fact that they are guarded and dysfunctional, it has nothing to do with you. Their lies, the fact that they walk away and try to control you with their silence. Try to, trying to make something complicated, pretending to be something they're not, it has nothing to do with you. I sense it has a lot to do with their character and who they choose to be. As I said before, this is someone who is trying to avoid the fact that they have third parties and have committed a lot of crimes against this situation, the stability of it. Hmm. There's a lot of lies. There's a lot of third party energies, whether that's friends, family, or hmm, energies they choose to keep company. And I feel they still try to avoid this, whatever this is with you, but they're starting to believe they can't control it. They're trying to have tunnel vision when it comes to this denial. They're being dismissive. But things are still spiraling out of control. Let's get a little bit more energy here from a different day. This energy is coming out as um, wanting to be ambitious. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. This energy is coming out as wanting to appear like they have a their shit together, but you look at them as a sponge, somewhat of a 
parasite because this energy has no limits <clears throat> and some very dark ways of getting what they want this energy is coming out as emotional yet self-loathing and egotistical all about self and their ego is definitely inflated because of those they surround themselves with yes men people who are only stroking the ego yet taking from them yet not giving in to them this energy is coming out as hmm, superficial but they're about to be humbled they're very affected by their emotions they are still not satisfied and this is another reason why they are guarded inflated ego they're very careless and this is why they're trying to control you because they can't control themselves this energy drained you because they have some very neurotic ways this energy is very uneasy fatigued and hesitant because they're facing their truth I also feel like they're very unstable emotionally feeling very neurotic feeling like something is out of control because of how they treated you or how life is going right now this is someone who knows they stabbed you in the back hmm. wow this energy stabbed you in the back because they were not being logical about a situation instead of looking about looking at your heart and all the things that you put into this relationship or the foundation they were looking at something superficial so they did something impulsive. This energy did something impulsive when it comes to something that was unsafe or even when it comes to sex. That is not for everyone, but this energy was being selfish and greedy, closed off when it comes to their energy because they were giving their energy to someone else. This is someone who was being very neurotic, giving into their addictions and rolling the dice. Hmm. Yet I feel this energy being impulsive and giving in to instant gratification only led them to something that has kept them lost or misguided, insecure, and hollow. I also feel this energy is complacent, sitting in the energy of wanting to be proud of their choices when they're clearly not. This energy is sitting in a space of misery, feeling vulnerable and too attached to some unhealthy habits. These unhealthy habits could also be energies that they have given into or allowed into their space. But they're feeling like they're losing self-control, not wanting to let anyone in. This energy is coming up heartless. For many of you, you feel like this energy was heartless in what they did to you, very harsh and unloving, never coming from a heart space where they were being clear, always misguiding. Hmm. Wow. This energy is very moody when it comes to you and anyone else. There's a sense of misery, feeling like they have no purpose. This is why they're sitting in this misguided energy and taking risks in the wrong direction. This energy is coming out as being very moody because they're still sitting in denial. Refusing and dismissing change, inner value, and very offended when someone else brings it up. This is someone who be, can be very disrespectful with their words, very rude, hurtful, and never truly being logical. Always using others as, an, as a scapegoat playing the victim and using others as a pawn. I feel this energy was close to you or trying to get closer to you because of your open heart, knowing they could have their, uh, have their way, but something went too deep. There was an indecision here because they were uncertain. And I feel this is another reason why they were justifying their ways or being very defensive or harsh with you. For many of you, this is someone who has some very sneaky, de deceptive ways here. So much so that you're not trusting them the way that you used to because they're so stubborn. Hmm. Wow. 
but I feel these superficial ways are about to come to a head. Something is about to humble this energy. Humble someone who is now feeling uneasy about something. Something is now getting to them. Causing them to rethink something that they are not wanting to think about. Let's get some more energy here. I feel like there's someone who can be a little judgmental sometimes, but I feel it's because something is absent inside, never being satisfied, this energy is lashing out. This energy can also come out as having a stone heart, being cruel and heartless to others, because they have a sense of envy and desire for things that they cannot have, and a resentment for those who have walked away. Wow. This is someone who has defended their brutal lies all because they're vulnerable apprehensive and not letting go of something not letting go of something that they believe completes them and I feel whatever this is that they feel completes them is the very thing that is tearing their life apart hmm. superficial energy is coming out twice here this energy is disconnected from self, going through a state of lack and regretting the fact that they took advantage or backstabbed you, criticized you. Something was very heartless and brutal when it comes to their words, <clears throat> not just their actions. Something else took place here. Something they now feel they kind of overdid something. Now they feel you're giving what they gave, or they feel like you're grudgeful towards them, yet I don't feel that is your energy, not for all of you. Yet I feel, as I said before, this is someone who was trying to cover up or defend their brutal lies and ignore the truth to stay true to a false reality, just to avoid dealing with you or dealing with uncomfortable situations. Of emotions. Hmm. Tunnel vision here. This tunnel vision is keeping this energy in a misleading energy. But they're choosing to hide. Someone is choosing to hide from the facts. And that's why they're closed minded. Clearly not wanting <clears throat> not wanting to see a truth that's about to become clear and obvious. And as I said before, I feel this, this will humble them. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who seems to be drowning in some very uncomfortable truths that causes them to slip in and out of the now as they're trying to cope. Cope or have this some have some type of um, defense mechanism which may now be serving as a survival function I feel that could include avoidance defensive actions and even those harsh words this is someone who is trying to block something out causing them to have a stone heart heartless ways or possibly just thinking of self hmm. opportunist energy here so as I said before this is someone who gives into a lot of unhealthy habits habits all because of their emotions trying to be satisfied always rolling the dice in the wrong direction which is always keeping them greedy, selfish, and vulnerable. This is where the heartless energy comes from. Even though this energy, everyone has a heart, this energy tries to cover it up. There's a lot of walls. This is why you feel this energy has so much spite towards you. Yet I feel it's only the hate they feel towards themselves. Um, as I said before, this is someone who is trying to block something out. 
attempting to check out of life or check out of what they are experiencing or what they've done. Hmm. Or their impulsive ways that are now keeping them in a mood. Not wanting to deal. But as I said before, something is coming up. Something is about to affect their life in a way that may cause them to look at things in a different light. Especially how they have treated you. Someone who is very open, honest, and willing. Hmm. But they only use something as an opportunity. This energy is coming out heartless because they're de detached from their emotions, traditions. This energy is detached from traditions, something that is rooted, and they're attached to <clears throat> tactics, manipulation, or getting away with things, only to justify their sabotage, not wanting to be committed, not wanting to be attached because they don't know how. They don't know how to maintain it. So they reject it. As I said before in this reading, what this energy is going through has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them and their own character. This is someone who has wasted a lot of valuable time with their destructive tendencies and distracting ways just to distract you from the truth of what they lack and the fact that they are not growing. There's no progress. I feel this is someone who is always trying to escape a reality of the unknown. So, they may be trying to rationalize facts. Rationalize facts just to believe their own lies, which has triggered some type of merry-go-round of denial. This is someone who is sitting in some type of merry-go-round when it comes to believing their own lies and sitting in the space of denial that is now trying to bring them to another space. Something's about to happen to this energy. Something. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Something is about to trigger. Trigger something. Something is about to trigger the pain of their betrayals, losses, and something to do with their separation. The fact that they're always sabotaging things when it comes to commitments and wanting their freedom and burning others in the process. Now this energy is gasping. There's no way out. There's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of regret. All because of their phobias, their attachments, their hatred, for self and their own dread and I feel for many of you this is why the trust was broken and the bond has faded this is someone who is gaining attention from other entities or situations that are toxic that are also keeping them low vibrational and attached to some very unhealthy unhealthy habits that they are still projecting and coping with they're going to defend what they're doing to the end. Trying to call something out will only make them angry. Because they are content right now in these toxic energies or their toxic ways. <clears throat> wow, okay, so this energy is always sitting in a space of rebellion. But this rebellious energy of not caring about others or their energy is about to come back tenfold. There's a lot of regret, shame, and humility that they're about to experience. Even if they're emotionally unavailable. This energy is closed off, unreachable, very distant, and very dramatic. This energy is very dramatic and sitting in a space where things are unreal and this is why they cope because otherwise I feel this energy would be sitting in a space of rage. They have really screwed up their life and once they look back, they're going to be sitting in much more. Mm. This is this is this is more than regret. 
This is more than a guilty conscience. Hmm. This energy is going to be sitting in a space where their harsh ways will be hard to forget. Hmm. This unpredictable energy here is very attached. And as I said before, they're going to try to make sense of it when it doesn't make any sense at all to you or anyone else. This is, but it doesn't stop them from trying to justify or excuse their bad habits or even play Spain because that's how they deal with things. And I also feel that is how they sabotage things. Pretending to have some type of memory loss which never gives them any type of gain. And they are always losing respect. For many of you, this is someone who is trying to justify their ways and even forget. But I feel justice is about to take place here. Time is here. Hmm. But things are also a roller coaster. Side piece energy here. This energy is always giving into others. There could be a lot of hookups here. Mindless energy. They're just giving their energy away. Causing something with you to be frozen. And I feel you have all the proof that you need. To find your way or cut them off. But I feel in due time this energy will see a truth see a truth that will humble them this is a harsh time or moment for someone who is dwelling on something dwelling on something that is about to bring balance justice to a situation hmm. something could be going to the extreme hmm. energy wanting to take a risk after being reckless, there's a lot going on in the past. They feel trapped. Your aura, your energy is different and they're feeling empty. They're feeling empty because something is shattered and you could be completely done. I feel you walking away or being completely done is shattering their energy. It's triggering them. It's triggering them because they know that what they have is you. It was a true union and what they're seeking outside of you is just instant gratification gratification that they're not even getting because they're still guarded yet it's not keeping them from thinking about the union that they had or how you truly gave love love that they're still not getting anywhere else this is someone who took something to the extreme Causing something to be unspoken because they stonewall you. This energy went to the extreme when it comes to lust. Something that was forbidden because they were obsessed, obsessed with self or having their way. This energy took a risk. This energy took a risk when it comes to family. I feel like this is someone who took a risk when it comes to family, love, and they blew something up, set something on fire, trying to escape something, block you push you away someone pushed you away emotionally now something is like a tidal wave a roller coaster ups and downs there's good and bad when it comes to this energy but them trying to justify what they have done is only making something worse but I feel there is a rush of feelings when it comes to this energy they care they just don't know how to express it properly so they run they keep things bottled up I feel how they want to express themselves. They're not wanting to open up. So they're keeping something inside when it comes to you. A soulmate. This is someone who is still wearing a mask, pretending to not have pain. Pretending that this doesn't affect them. Pretending that this doesn't hurt them. Yet there is so much conflict. There's so much pain. There's so much tears. Tears that I don't believe they will ever admit or show to you. Because they feel your heart is cold towards them. 
and something is possibly final. This is someone who feels they can't even beg their way back in when it comes to a twin flame energy. This energy feels that you will never look at them the same. You will never be the same. <sighs> Not the person that you once were. In fact, this energy feels you have nothing positive to say to them or about them. <sighs> this energy feels like you're just punishing them to get even. To get even because you they broke your heart. Turned they're back on you, trying to get away with something, pursuing something that only brought them down, blindsided you, blindsided your trust, and left you searching for answers. Now your heart or theirs is still locked away. Please take it how it resonates. Someone is wanting to reach out, but there is too much drama. There is too much drama. There is too much secrets. There could even be some type of emotional affair or attachment to something or something else. Well, or someone else. Something that they're still taking a risk on, which is leaving them in a very dark space when it comes to their emotions. This is why they are believing something can never be undone or you'll never see them the same. Something gets shattered for good. And there is... Uh, a sense of sadness and this is why this energy is avoiding you hiding from you and going to the extreme to prove a point to prove a point that I feel will never be truly clear to either of you but as I said before this is someone who is just used to having their way Flirting with danger, hooking up with the wrong people, giving in to the wrong things, and bringing pain to a situation with their obsessions when they should have been giving in to a close bond or family when it was just conflict and differences, which caused something to be final. Now you could be guarded towards them, even though you still care. There is pockets of energy here, hmm, mutual energy here. There's still love. You just don't want the disrespect. There's too much pain. For many of you, if you are keeping your guard up, it's because this person has caused you to second guess yourself, your choices when it comes to them. Hmm. Wow. This vulnerable energy could also be yours because I feel you could also be trying to detach as well because this energy is always pushing the limit being greedy and selfish and in the end I feel they were completely heartless hmm. as I said before this is someone who is trying to forget it all forget the fact that they did you like this so cold so heartless as if they didn't even think twice hmm. yet I can't this energy just this energy feels like they can't help themselves but they feel like the harsh ways is taking them down an alley or a street that they can't turn back from hmm. as I said before this is someone who is trying to forget it all yet it can't be forgotten it can't be forgotten because the shame the shame is attached here the guilt, the embarrassment but I also feel the shame drives them, drives their emotions and feeds the denial. <sighs> this energy's denial is being fed by their ego as well. Yet I feel they're about to be put in a situation or a position that starts to change everything. Because this energy is about to realize challenging your assumptions minimizing their behaviors or trying to bury the past, bury the problems, hoping no one will notice was only the beginning to an end. A harsh, heartbreaking ending. All because someone was reckless. Instead of taking your offer, 
this energy made another choice. This energy made another choice and they avoided you. For many of you, it's like deja vu. You've given this person many chances, so many options to change. Yet I feel this energy has a history of pain and triggers, obsessions, and the fact that they don't give in to roots or values. They don't give in to family. I feel this is someone who brings a lot of conflict because they're sitting in some very toxic energy, some unhealthy delusions and some very nasty behaviors because they have anchored themselves to the pain, their obsessions, their addictions, as well as some very influential energies. These energies are smiling in their face, yet they have no respect and very little emotion. I feel something is a give and take. This, there's no stability here. There's no foundation. There's no real love. They know they were made the wrong decision for the wrong reasons. Especially when it comes to you, they should have never wanted to be so free, so single. Yet now something is illuminated. Something is illuminated because someone is now feeling lost. All because of their denial. This energy ran away because they felt empty, feeling invisible. This energy cut you off and was sitting in a space of denial, refusing to see a truth. They dismissed you. This energy dismissed you because they didn't want to face a reality. Wanting to be free of what they were going through, they made something final by dismissing you, detaching from you, and not being available to you. Yet I feel this energy only clowns themselves because now they have are sitting in sleepless nights. Trying to hold something together that is already broken. This energy feels a heaviness because of the denial. It's starting to weigh heavy on their souls, starting to eat at them, eat away at them. They know they clown themselves because of their own triggers, their own obsessions, and their own lies. Because something is just not making any sense. Not anymore. Now this energy is wanting to redo or rethink something but I feel something is only going to lead them to a sense of regret because they regret not talking to you hmm. I feel this energy was just always talking at you now this energy is thinking about this there's sleepless nights here even though you don't know it there's no peace. There's no rest. There could be shared energy here as well. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who is thinking about their choices. What they should have done versus what they did. Hmm. Because they know they made the wrong choice. I feel this has already been illuminated to them. This is something they want to confess, yet this energy is muzzled. They're not speaking. They're not talking. They've cut you off because they have indecision and inner conflict. They know the choice they made when it comes to a third party or environment was false. Ace of Cups in the reverse. This is guilt, resentment, anger, rage. This energy is blocked emotionally in suppressing and repressing their emotions. Ace of Cups is in the reverse as well as the devil energy. Are we serious here? There's downfall. As I said before, this is someone who is going through a lot. Not wanting to admit something, but something is about to become obvious. This is someone who has been left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Financially. 
there's materialistic hardship here. Something is being repulled. Something is being lost. Someone is seeking or not wanting others to see what's been taken. This energy is being burnt out for source in the reverse. This energy is being burnt out because of the now and making the wrong decision for the wrong reasons, knowing they are lost because of these influence influences that have brought conflict. Hmm. A false sense of ego, a false sense of self. <clears throat> Knight of Swords is in the reverse. Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. So, as I said before, we have the Devil card, Seven of Swords, hmm. Six of Cups in the reverse. This is someone who is overindulging, being smug about it. Now they're living a poor lifestyle, feeling like they're being bound, Eight of Swords. This is self-imposed bondage. Wanting to be <clears throat> relieved of what they're going through, this energy is not wanting to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it because, again, they're avoiding. Avoiding conflict within self. Feeling like they're about to get away with something, they're about to walk right into their karma right into some very harsh consequences that they didn't see coming. Hmm. Their strategy here. This energy is trying to cut corners, sidestep some obstacles, trying to get away with something strategically here with the Seven of Swords. Yet they're about to be cut off, cut, caught up or cut off. Freedom cut off from their freedom. Knight of Swords is in the reverse. This is someone who is overcritical, self-absorbed, and cannot express themselves. This is someone who is about to learn the hard way, especially when it comes to affairs of the heart because they are burnt out and they're about to be forced into submission. Hmm. Wow. There's a lot of energy here. Not working together with you, this energy had a chance, but this energy is now blocked. This energy also is blocked creatively for their greed, unable to move on or abstain. There's a lack of hope as well. No strength. The strength card here is in the reverse. There's a lack of strength self-discipline this energy was being vain now the ace of wands is coming out in the reverse two of wands in the reverse this energy is in fear of the unknown lack of planning has led them in this direction but this energy is more vulnerable than they may seem something is weighing them down here with the ace of wands in the reverse and there is a serious need for adjustment because heartbreak is still following this energy. I feel if they left you in a space where you regret their energy or they just left you in a bad space, I feel they're getting double that right now. They're still not letting go of something here with the hangman. There's a lot of de delay because of their denial. Yet I also feel they have a guilty conscience. This is why they need to adjust because they're always holding back and being indecisive, causing heartbreak wherever they go. Heartbreak, separation, breakup, pain, that's what's spoiling this energy. They'll never get it right. They'll never have a two of cups. It's coming out in the reverse. Because of something they're not letting go, there will always be breakups, disharmony, separation, communication problems, relationship imbalance when it comes to them. They have no foresight. They can't see something for what it is. They can't see the bigger picture. This is why they're always aimless, wandering when it comes to their emotions. Eight of Cups is in the reverse. Emotionally insecure, very moody, fake when it comes to giving in to connections. Avoiding responsibility, Ten of Wands. This is someone who takes on too, too much, overdoing something, this energy went too far. They're aimless, blocked, 
and there's some dark feelings here because they are all overwhelmed now and they are upset because they're not you're not receiving or taking them back they feel like you're withdrawn the hermit here is in the reverse this could be their energy as well but i also feel you could be with withdrawn in exile hmm. isolating yourself from someone who is always bringing conflict here with the seven of wands yet i feel this energy is fighting a losing battle a losing battle that they're about to give up because they're being humbled and triggered through this double life that they have chosen to live Hasty energy here with the King of Wands. Very impulsive. And possibly even power hungry. This is something you had to get through. This energy definitely put you through a lot. But here with the Sun card in the reverse, I feel that is the energy they're getting as well. They're going through a lot. Lack of su success. Loneliness. Isolation. Depression. Misunderstanding, situations involving their job, ego, finances, and stability. This energy is going through a great state of loss. Hmm. Things are out of control because they got bad luck. We have a wheel of fortune here in the reverse. This energy has bad luck because they tried to control something. There's a lot of disappointment. They feel stuck. But they're trying to keep focus, but this focus is on the wrong things here with the devil card. This energy is still going down the wrong path. Yet I feel something is about to humble them, bring some type of balance, and something that has a lot of disarray. Something was unfair, someone was un dishonest, biased with a situation where there's a lot of red tape, no accountability. This energy was being fickle. There's a lot of confusion here with the Ace of Swords here in the reverse. Tyranny energy. This energy thought that they were going to get away with it, but they're not. There's a failed sense of communication. They should have said something. Said something that they now regret not speaking. Or this energy could be thinking about something you have said. Something that you said honestly. Let's get a final deck out here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's get a little bit more energy here. For many of you, I feel like this energy has taken on some new responsibilities that has them stressed and whether that be verbal tension, uncomfortable feelings, thoughts, or just positions that they put themselves in, or the qualities they believe they lack, they end up assigning these qualities or projecting this energy and even targeting you. I feel they are doing this because they're going through a dark night of the soul, unmotivated, and doing things that are just easy to make them feel better. This is why they're repeating patterns, yet they're always trying to check others in situations, getting tangled up in lies. Sorry about that, my camera cut out. So let's keep this going, you guys before it cuts out again so let's get this going so as I said before this is someone who is sitting in a space where they're getting tangled up in their own lies their own consequences and things that have brought them to a harsh space because they fail to see the triggers the warnings of life the fact that they have lost something that was genuine or lost love avoiding something, ghosting something because they couldn't give in or hmm, this energy was resisting intervention. This energy was resisting intervention because they had a fear of intimacy, feeling like it was safer in solitude or safer by giving into various things. This energy was too much to handle or couldn't be tamed. 
This energy is coming out as a wild heart that gives into influences. Weak to temptation is energy caused the two of you to be on the wrong page. Two different pages here. This energy thought that you would be naive to loyalty, yet you see their immature ways, which I also feel makes them bitter. All because they know they took the wrong path. Now this energy could be lurking in the shadows, knowing that they caused this painful ending because they were being childish or the fact that they hurt the innocence. Please take it how it resonates. This energy could be drowning in their own misery. As I said before, just because you don't see this person's downfall or the fact that they are going through a lot doesn't mean they're not. In fact, I feel this energy has left things in question because they know they've acted like a fool. And, I mean, how could they make any sense of it? So they don't. They don't talk about it. And if they do, they make excuses. And they try to place blame on someone else. This is someone who is thinking about how they chose to live and how they are wanting to give up the fight, especially when it comes to past choices that they try to manipulate or orchestrate <clears throat> because things are now exploding and something is definitely played out. Now this energy is faking their happiness, playing the martyr or being the victim is no longer working and this energy is finding it a little harder to wear this mask or even hide the true motives because they're still projecting their energy they were still doing a lot and missing the point because they're all about money all about the come up now there's a lot of worries when it comes to their stabilities financial situations and even home needing time to heal this energy is still fighting an endless battle that they haven't even realized they'll never win. <clears throat> For many of you, this is someone who thought that you were too naive to see something, and too naive to see that they couldn't be tamed, but I feel they want you to be confused or annoyed by their, their tactics. Eventually bringing you to some type of mental stress to make you feel as empty as they are. Yet things are not going as planned. You guys are no longer on the same page. You don't see them the same. Something has changed. Because they resisted your love or your help in the first place. Something is just not the same. For many of you who wonder why this energy is so delusional or harsh, well, it's because they feel they have to be. They have to be this cruel to keep you from talking them out of something or even giving in to you. To keep from truly giving in to what they know they feel. But it's taking too long for them to commit or know what their heart feels because it's just hot and cold. And even though they know they care, they're still hiding and keeping secrets from you. This energy is still in the dark. In the dark about you and in the dark about self. But something is about to become clear whether they want to see it or not. It's about to be sitting right in their face. Because as I said before, what they feel for you, it truly scares them. And this is why they're refusing to deal with something. But something is about to be exposed, whether that's about them or what they've done or what they're doing, their codependent ways. Something is about to humble them. 
I feel this is also attached to these third party energies, their secrets, something that they keep repeating. The fact that they are hot and cold is because they're dealing with something from the past or something that they're sitting in their present with. But whatever it is, it's distracting and it's causing them to fall apart. In fact, I sense this energy would even go as far as giving someone else what they promised you just to attack you emotionally, to, to prove to themselves that they don't truly care or they don't truly love you yet. This energy clearly does if they're going through all of this to offend you. And trust me, they're trying. Yet by the time they figure something out, you'll already be gone already have found a peace or have already found your heart desires this energy is just wasting time <clears throat> wasting time being blinded <clears throat> being blinded by their own guilt being blinded by their own choices or consumed with appearances this energy is just so consumed with what people may think but to be truthful they already know they were wrong about you they just are too immature or set in their ways to make it right. So in an effort not to appear like a fool or desperate, they're handling you in a way you never thought that they would. Hoping you would let go enough so that they could finally let go of you, but it's not working. Yet I feel they're about to realize it won't be so easy to run. It won't be so easy to run and hide from you and pretend you never existed. Because the more they try, the more they reject how they know they feel for you, the more it feels you're a stain on their heart and mind, something they feel they can't shake or get rid of because of their own insecurities. Hmm. Their destructive tendencies or the fact that they could never tell the truth this is someone who can never tell the truth because they were driven by lust bit driven by lust past wounds and playing the waiting game this energy playing the waiting game they lost out and created too much distance between the two of you abandonment issues are coming up this energy has a lot of cloudy judgment but something is definitely outdated, especially when it comes to their tendencies or testing your boundaries that have drained you, depleted you, because you now see this energy as a wolf in sheep's clothing or someone who acts innocent but will betray you in a heartbeat. Yet I feel this energy is only wasting time playing games with you because they're needing to deal with these dark attachments. Because until they do, with a, they will always be trying to trigger the hearts of others, they will always be trying to trigger someone else's fears because they are the ones who are disconnected and never satisfied. I feel this is someone who is about to be humbled. Hmm. Humbled by their own fears and tears because someone's about to face their demons and their shadows. Something that they were not expecting to deal with. But at this point, it doesn't matter. I also feel it doesn't even matter who strokes their ego or shows them attention or pays their way. They will never be satisfied or fulfilled mentally or spiritually because of how they've chosen to treat others along the way. As the pain they have caused will always block their peace, their serenity, or even the connections they are deciding to make because they will always be haunted by their past and stuck in their ways always manipulating situations that are clearly played out this energy is about to learn the hard way through emotions and other things that they are clearly attached to that are about to be broken hmm. beyond repair I sense this is a, a situation that triggered a lot of confusion and deep emotions as many of these behaviors and problems seem to come from nowhere causing a pain many of you won't forget yet i feel 
you will be able to grow from. But I feel neither of you will come out of this untouched or unaffected. Mm, wow, it's a lot going on here. But I see this hunting them. This is going to hunt them for a very long time. Suffering through the years because they're too proud to admit. They're too proud to admit that they hate nothing about you. Yet, it may take some time before they receive it, understand it, or even admit it to themselves that they were just not ready for you. Yet when they do understand, it'll be a hard pill to swallow. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading and